Combat journalism. Yeah, so it's those photojournalists who happen to go out there with a camera. And um, there's some articles in ARP um, about photojournalists in Ukraine. And they, they had experience. They went to Iraq to take pictures and make a story. They went to Afghan. You know, Afghan, a 20-year war that we lost. Who else lost? The Russians lost. The British lost. Yeah, it's, it's a place you don't want to go to war with. Um, let's see, we, we spent tw $2 trillion in Afghanistan. Got a lot of pictures out of that thing. And uh, we kicked the Taliban out, and then they kicked us out. And now the country is receding into the 7th century. Yeah, they should be all happy. Yes, all the women will be covered. Had the, the only slit of the eyes. Yeah, that's that's frontal. That that really says a lot. But uh, photojournalism can be extremely deadly. That's um, the Ukrainian war. It's boy, is it covered? And remember, everybody with a cell phone camera is a journalist. Um, that's one of the reasons when the Russians grab people, they, they, they take their cell phones. Yes. And uh, then they give an order, if you don't turn in your cell phone, we will shoot you if we catch you with it. Uh, yeah, sounds like Nazi Germany, you know. It's a, um, all the citizens are required to turn in their radials. And they were, they were asking the children to turn in their, their parents if the parents had a radio. Right. And when it ran around that you, if you got caught with a radio, you were shot. Yeah. If you were caught with a gun, you were shot. If you were not with a third right wearing a uniform, if you were carrying a gun, you were shot on sight. Of course, you're, they ripped you apart before they sh shot you. Um, photojournalism it can be a say, oh, a picture is worth a thousand words. And there has been pictures out there that that thing. Of course, going into Ukraine, basically seeing a, a, a city street of bombed out buildings. You know, pictures are pictures. They go in there and everybody with their little camera. Used to be they all run in there with cannons and Nikons. Um, now, now they just come up with their little cell phones. And they record their stuff. And they usually uh, they can do the same thing. They just point it at it as a selfie and do a live shot. Here we are live here. And they just upload it to something. Or better is uh, no actually if you don't have a cell phone tower you really can't up upload it uh, but uh, yeah yeah it's really really bad uh, it's very dangerous too uh, photojournalism can get you killed uh, one of my friends who was um, he was a fo in the military and he was a full journalist there, you know, writing, things like that. And he got, he got into a war zone. He says, yeah, I jump, jumped out of a um, plane and I landed into a bunch of brush, screwed up my leg. And then you get, get to, as a phone journalist, yeah, you get to hit, you pr you're protecting your camera. <laughs> you know, almost like you, you have the flak jack for your camera. Yes. Of course, that's the time when they had film. Uh, when they get to ditch, you know, that same thing. Even worse, because a concussion can really screw up your thing. And an electric magnetic pulse from something can screw up your, your camera. But being a, fo being a am I a photojournalist? Locally, I'm a photojournalist. Yes, I did a lot of writing. I was a photojournalist for that thing. I won't mention the defunct 
that thing because I don't think a lot of people want to talk about that. You were with that? Yes. Um, um, for, for a time, we're basically working for a foreign government. <laughs> Well, not working. We're just doing the bylines. You know, you, know, you, you do your bylines and that thing. And uh, who is she? Well, she's that. You mean you're working for a foreign press? Yes, 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 yes. You're you're a stringer. And today, today you work for a foreign press like DW, which we could actually work pretty good. Um, they're looking for stringers. They got the uh, the day, right? And that's that's always good. And of course, as a stringer, we don't. Exp as a stringer, um, I've shot stuff as a stringer for other people. I attended a couple things in the local county. Uh, uh, Union League Club where uh, um, some politician is sitting there talking and you basically it used to be as I sit, sit with my uh, Canon camera and put on a tripod and shoot it for the person and maybe ask a couple questions for it and uh, then take my little slot my little thing and either transport trans transmit it to a person or just hand it to the person as a, you know that thing and hey I get a free dinner okay and you want you want your byline well if you want to give me a byline go ahead but you remember I've already known about around the world <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, so something. What do you mean? I know people from Russia. I know people from China. I know people from South Korea, Japan, uh, Europeans. Yes, yes, I get to meet a lot of people. I know a lot of people, but that's different than fertile photojournalism. I had to gotta remember in photojournalism today, it's that cell phone. I leave that cell phone on in my pocket, and I'm recording every, all the sounds. And if that cell phone is just a, love, a little above my pocket, and that little camera is looking like this one here, I'm photographing that whole area. And if some clown is up there, a politician is up there talking, and he makes a mistake, <laughs> I can upload it to DW. <laughs> Or the Australian Times, or um, the Guardian, the financial page. Oh yes, it's a lot of fun. Yeah, for, for, it can be interesting. When NATO was in Chicago, um, I had my little badge on, and uh, so I could go get in here and see uh, the officials from NATO. And do my little thing. I didn't ha didn't have one of these. Um, what was I using? Something running? I think with XP. <laughs> was seven? X I think it was running still running XP on it. <laughs> yeah. Well, how long does your battery last? Well, about ten minutes. And I have to find a plug all the time. But hey. Um, I got it because I'm a member of IP um, International Press Club of Chicago, and I have this this little thing called a Chicago Police Press Pass, and uh, that helps. And uh, should do more articles. I'm waiting for us to get uh, online so I can do interviews. We talk about the world around us, but I don't know. Well, what can I do about it? Oh. 
But I tell you one thing right now, uh, the people that I know of that are actually real full journalists or real journalists, unlike, you know, when I used to have access to databases, I could cross check with everybody, I could cross check with libraries, I can cross check with uh, U.S. Congress library. Uh, I guess I could do it now, but uh, why? Because you're only going to be on there for 30 seconds, if that, or a minute. Or if you get an interview, you get to be on there longer. But not much longer. One of the th things is, that's the thing, I can upload it to somebody in Paris or Bonn, um, Berlin, and uh, hopefully it d doesn't degrade when I do it. That's one of the nice things. Or whoever I'm stringing for. I do mean stringing. You know, well, the foreign press can't be everywhere at the same time. I just basically have the same con credentials to get in my Chicago Police Press Press. And uh, I, c I can do that. And I, as I told a couple of my other friends who are also club members is that go for it. You know, you're when you were with AP, big A stringer, you know. Um, Hey, who's coming into O'Hare Field? Or do a report on the the mayor of Chicago. She's running again. That's news. Politicians are news. They may not think they're news, but they are news. <laughs> they are, you know, thirty second interview. Tell me, uh, why is the FBI investigating you? Uh huh. What's this about inside trading you have? <laughs> How's that drug drug problem you have? Of course, the problem with something like that, if you say it, I don't have a problem. No? We know that Joe fell off his bicycle. Did you fall off the wagon? <laughs> I just typed this thing. Yes, yes. That's it. Asking the question so all the other reporters are around you hear the same question. <coughs> Tell me, um, Governor, what's this about your wife? Yes. She divorcing you because of your girlfriend? Friends. Girlfriends, plural. Not one girlfriend, plural girlfriends. Tell me, you got anything else going on on the side that we're not supposed to fight out about? That's a, that's a good, that's a, one of the interesting questions. Um, what's this about you or the IRS? <laughs> Tax evasion, sir? <laughs> even they don't even they don't get you on the camera you just said what about your tax evasion you know what about your taxes that's that's always a good subject tell me what why are you the only one in congress that has a free gas card P people have gas gas problems um tell me um senator Why do you send your wife to a food bank considering the amount of money you're, you're getting? <laughs> considering your salary, sir, why are you sending your wife to a food bank? Okay. <laughs> they don't... That you don't want to be put your f face on. <laughs> you're just that shouting in the crowd bit. People, they're going to hear you. <laughs> Question. <laughs> yes. Okay, I deal with a lot of dirt. <laughs> well, you really want to know? Look at that thing by the counter of the your, in your supermarket. Yeah, you will find me in there under many different names. Yeah, it's so something like hey, being on YouTube. <laughs> it's like you know, like this, yeah. But uh, photojournalism is to me it's 
you could get killed. Uh, it used to be carrying around a Canon camera uh, during demonstrations. Some cloud will come over and smash that camera for you. Now you would just have the the recorder, the cell phone in your pocket, and you're, you can record, and then you can upload it to something else. And then, of course, what's another thing about cell phones? Um, you can put them on a charger. Carry, carry, carrying your little charger car, uh, uh, cut sets with you, a uh, little, you know. So you, you're basically charging your your cell phone while it's recording. It helps, yeah. And well, you get these, oh, the new, new plug. I don't need me a plug, yeah. That's, that's one thing I, I like about um, these, these, this type of, I, well, my other cell phone could have done the same thing, but the little bit, the, the storage is a little bit different. But, um, oh, I would love to have those the European jobs, you know, the guys are running around in Ukraine. So we're not, of course, we're running around, you're in an active war zone. And any, any minute, the uh, President Putin can drop a bomb on you. There he is. <laughs> and he d sure tries, tries to kill journalists. Oh, you better know it. Uh, at least, you know, with a passport, I get, I get to flee. Those people are stuck there. It's like everything is destroyed. Farmers can't plant because the cluster bombs, the Russians are dressing, dropping cluster bombs on wheat fields. Yeah, you know. What do you mean they're dropping it on wheat fields? They're not meant to blow up. They're meant to sit there as mines, anti-personnel mines. It's great if you're in a tractor, you just blow out a tire, but if you're walking that, uh, yes, if you're trying to cross the field, they just lay down mines, anti-personnel mines. I don't know. Not a war that I would want to die for. But, as someone says, you can either fight them there or you're going to fight them in the rest of Europe. You know, they're, Putin's mapping out what else is going to take if he wins in Ukraine. And he's, he will take the whole whole region, and then he will control the gas going to Europe, and the oil going to Europe, and he will control a good portion of the um, wheat in the world. Yeah, not a pump. I would love to get over there, get some great pictures of what rubble. Oh, you can go in Chicago. There's a lot of rubble down there. <laughs> <laughs> Depending what part of Chicago you're talking about, there's a lot of rubble in a war zone. Right. May not look it, but it's still a war zone. Wear a flak vest. Yes. Uh huh. Wear a flak vest and hope, hope they're aiming f f for your tor torso. Well, it's not very good when you're in Chicago and you're going out somewhere and you, have, you put on your flak vest. Your bulletproof vest with the word press in the back of it. That's um, that's all the journalism. I don't why why should I go to Ukraine? I go basically just go to Chicago, look at all the war zone. 